Wickham, where a well-known activist, Sasha Johnson, has been shot. And in front of me, I've got two people who I hope to interview. And the first person, good afternoon, Mom. What is your name? My name's Iman Aiton. And where have we met before, Iman? Last year at the VLM protests. Excellent. And next to you, what's your name, sir? My name is Clive Morrison. So, Iman, tell me, we're now down in Concert Road. Can you tell me from your point of view what, have, what you heard occurred here early on Sunday morning? So the first thing that I have to say is the first port of call for anyone is our support, thoughts and prayers for Sasha and her family. That is the first thing that is on anyone's mind. In regards to the incident, this tragic incident that has affected Sasha, what I can say categorically is that we know that the incident occurred here and that it was centred around a party or some type of gathering. A lot of the information that I've been given has come from a third party source, so I don't necessarily feel comfortable relay relaying that information as it wasn't a direct source. But what I can say is that this is just a very tragic, tragic situation and I think we're all very much still in shock. As you know, Sasha is a well-known activist within the local community and she's spoken out on many occasions. When I interviewed Sasha only six weeks ago in Kennington Park, she actually said to me that she believed her life was under threat and she said she had actually had threats made against her and I've actually got this on tape. Has she ever said anything similar to yourself? Yes, yes she has. To be honest with you, I don't I think there's any anti-racism activist that hasn't received some type of threat or had to deal with overt, overtly racist abuse online or in person. I think that comes with the territory and it's something that we've all had to deal with. And Sasha has just been amazing. She's persevered in spite of this regular abuse. And if I could ask you, Clive, tell me why it was important for you to be down here today at the location where Sasha so, sorry, where Sasha has been shot. Why was it important for you to be here? It's, it's important for myself, particularly knowing that there's a visual that's going to take place mm. later on, that we can connect and basically, basically circle all the dots, you know. It was a place that she came, obviously, was to enjoy herself, and we'd like for the spirit within the community to continue so that we will see the joy in our recovery. Mm. So I'm, I'm, I'm here in primary to lend my ancestral spiritual support in giving her the confidence, give the family the strength in order to see us through this um, concerning situation. You and I had the opportunity to meet Sasha about four, four weeks ago, I believe, in Jubilee Park in Edmonton. And during that time, she was playing the drums, and you've also mentioned the drums today. Tell me about the drums and what it means to you and Sasha, and to be down here today, lending your support with your drums. Well, it's, it's all about the positive vibration that we know can be gathered from the, the beating and the healing, particularly in this time where we're coming out of rehab, in, back into life. We want to have our vibration to give Sasha that life to give our community the life. And for Thatcher, personally, she's the one that introduced me to TTIP, which I represented, as you mentioned, Jubilee Park up there in Edmonton. So the strength also to the TTIP family, the, church, the community overall, yeah, we want to be one in vibration, in spirit, in tune, with our heartbeat, because our heartbeat goes out to the family and to the community. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tell me more, Iman, about this visual which will be taking place at the hospital later on this afternoon. It's all about support at this point. It's just about showing our support and making sure that we're praying for Sasha and her family. And I think that's the most important thing we should be focused on right now is just supporting her. So that is why this, this vigil is happening today at 3 o'clock outside King's College Hospital to just show that support and to show that we're all here, all together as a black community, irrespective of colour, even if you're not black, we're here to support Sasha. Earlier on we saw a number of forensic officers behind you and um, carrying out some checks. What would you say to those guys in regards to being thorough 
and finding what happened and bringing the perpetrators of this awful crime to justice. What would you say to those guys about doing their role? I just pray that the Metropolitan Police does not mess this up. That's all that I can pray for, that we actually get justice for yes. Sasha and we actually do find the perpetrators and that everything is... We are given the right, accurate information and that hopefully, like I said, that she makes a full recovery. That is the only thing that I can hope for in this moment. Thank you very much, Iman and Clive, for giving Street Night this opportunity. I've had the opportunity to interview both of you on previous occasions, and I've no doubt I will do that in the near future, but today is a very sad day, and I thank you very much. But before you go, I, I don't know if you want to add something, Clive, to this live stream. Well, I only want to add that enough is enough. We need to take a stand. Obviously, all our energy will be focused on the family to Thatcher in this battle that she is no doubt having to fight on our behalf. So let our spirit be one with, in one accord with her in order to raise that energy to make sure that she pulls through. Because exactly. we're saying enough is enough. Exactly. Do you know one thing? I, I know both of you and I've seen Iman on so many occasions. The last time we worked together was down at Brixton. And that place you were so happy. I can see in your face now the pain and the hurt you're feeling being down here, seeing this location. Heartbreaking. Utterly heartbreaking. It's very surreal because... This is Sasha, like, from last year. This is someone that has dedicated a lot of her life to making sure that black people are OK and we get the equality and justice that we need. So to find herself in this type of position, it, it just, it, it blows my mind. It's just, it's, yeah, I, yeah, I'm almost speechless. I can't even, I'm still in shock. It's, yeah. it's, it's heartbreaking. Yeah. Thank you very much. But if you don't move for a few seconds, I'm just going to take a photograph from mm. my thumbnail later on. No but uh, another officer has just turned up in a forensic suit just behind you. Oh, wow. Can we spin around? Oh, not yet. No, no, I'm not yet. You can at the moment. Oh. <laughs> Clive, you're looking after me with this umbrella. Bless your heart. It's freezing as well. well Thank you. Bless your heart. Yeah, so it's the circumstances. Isn't it? And very, before we've just parted, oh, I and like. seen each other, but yeah, just for strong. You going today? Yeah, that's why I brought Free. my job. I didn't yeah. come here for this. Yeah, no. right. Oh, oh yeah. Saying, Let me take off the mic so people can't hear what you're saying. You can speak in private. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks, thanks right there. Right I would have completely forgot about that, actually. And how comes I don't have your number? Take it, I know, take it. <laughs> no, I'll get it. i get it in a moment. Then you, you and Clive can continue talking. So good afternoon all. My name is Wendell Daniel and welcome to Street Mike. And today we are coming to you live and direct from Consult Road in Peckham, where Sasa Johnson, a well-known Black Lives Matter leader, was shot recently. So she was shot on Sunday. And she's currently in hospital on life support. She's critically ill. And one thing that really shocks me is that I've had the opportunity to work in partnership with Sasha Johnson outside of Parliament. I actually met her a few weeks ago and I interviewed her. And one thing that really jumps out at me when I speak with, when I meet Sasha, she is, the one of, she is one of the most beautiful, intelligent ladies I have ever met in my life. And she has so many great things to say about this country. And just like she told me, she's had death threats in the past. And when I was interviewing her in Kennington Park, she was actually wearing a bulletproof vest at the, that time. And I asked her why she was wearing it. And she says she wears it because we are in a war and people have made threats against her life. There is no evidence at this moment in time that this incident which took place down here was targeted at Tasha. There is no evidence of that. It has been claimed that it was a drive-by shooting. And it's not for me to speculate or comment in regards to what did occur, but 
What is important is that our police carry out a thorough investigation to establish what occurred. And what we want to see is those who were the perpetrator of this heinous crime for them to be brought to justice, for them to be apprehended, for them to be charged, and for them to be brought to justice. And then that way, we will be able to restore confidence in our Metropolitan Police Service. But as I look behind Clive and Iman at the moment, I can see officers from the forensic laboratory, they're actually on their hands and knees, and they're actually carrying out a fingertip search of the local area, and they're trying to gather evidence that will be useful in any investigation, but let's all stand shoulder to shoulder with the police at the moment, let them do their job, let them find out what occurred, let them apprehend those who committed this heinous crime, and then what we want to see is whoever done this being brought to justice. And Sasha, my friend, we are all out here fighting for you. We wanted to come to the location where this heinous crime took place. We are going to be going down to the hospital in a moment and we're going to be praying for you. There's going to be a visual outside of the hospital. I'm not going to mention at this moment in time which hospital it will be, but we will be there and we are praying for you and you are a very good person and I cannot believe that someone has done this and the community, the black community, the community in general will be standing up and they will be doing their best to help and support and to get Sasha through this difficult period in your life. But I'm shocked, I'm disbelieved, I cannot believe what is happening. But I'm now going to move my camera over slightly because... Can, can I just ask you to move over slightly? Thank you. I'm just going to focus on the officers just in front of us. So as we, if we have a look, we can now see the forensic officers on their hands and knees and they're doing a fingertip search of the location down here in Peckham Rye and just above them there is a bridge which goes to Peckham Rye station and this is going to be the height of activity over the coming days and who would believe that this has occurred and only tomorrow it will be the anniversary of the murder, the slaughter of George Floyd in America and that was how I met up with Sasha through Black Lives Matter. She's a very powerful speaker. She inspires hope and most people love her. Some people do not like the things she has to say, but it's the same with all of us. We've all got our personal views on issues. But Sasha, we are praying for you. Everyone is down here. And in a moment, we will be making our way towards the hospital to participate in that visual as you are fighting for your life. So this is Wendell Daniel from Street Night coming to you live and direct from Peckham, where Sasha Johnson, a leader of Black Lives Matter and a Black Panther, has been shot.
I'm trying to do this, yeah, you know, when I know you're hidden in the music. Good afternoon all, my name is Wendell Daniel and welcome to Street Mike and today we are coming to you live and direct from Peckham where Sasha Johnson, a friend, a leader of Black Lives Matter has been shot and she is currently in hospital fighting for her life and what we've been told is that on Sunday morning at 3 o'clock in the morning just behind me here in Consort Road in Peckham, Sasha was shot and I'm going to be coming back to you. Hey man, give me, give me, give me, give me two sets. Can I have your number so yes, I can, yes, uh, you going, you go, you going down to the church or, not the church, the hospital or? Yeah, I'm supposed to. Because um, we're going to be going you up on. You're over in a minute. Yeah. Yeah, but the only thing, but I got to leave down there by four by four o'clock. Yeah. I'm so glad I saw you. Hmm? So I'm so glad I saw you. Let's get stuck. Two two black people. That's it's, it's always the way, isn't it? <laughs> See you later, man. Oh, then, baby. I'd like to apologise for all of you who are watching. I just had to go over to speak to Iman, who I interviewed not long ago, and I had to take her number because I will be contacting her later on and I'll be seeing her down at the vigil. But, but going back, I've known Sasha Johnson now since George Floyd was brutally killed, murdered in America last year, and I formed a relationship, professional relationship with her as a direct result of her role in Black Lives Matter and because she's one of the leaders of Black Lives Matter. And I had the opportunity to interview her only a few weeks ago in Kennington Park where they were starting off an organisation who were trying to help and support the black youth. And that was so amazing to see her there with so many other people. But one thing that really struck me is that I asked her, Sasha, you've got on this outfit, this black outfit, and she had a bulletproof vest on. And I said to her, why is it important for you to be wearing this outfit? And what Tasha said to me, Sasha said to me, is that she's at war. People want to um, kill her and they've, they've made threats. Who knows what occurred here today? But something has come true. Sasha is now in hospital just down the road after being shot. Her life is now under threat and we are out here praying, hoping that she recovers as quickly as possible 
and it's this isn't the time for us to be blaming anyone. This is the time for Sasha to be helped, for the police who are currently behind me in their forensic outfits doing a tip-to-tip -tip search of the road down here looking for evidence. Let's help and let's support the police. You know, anyone, any of you who know Street Mike, you know, if the police done wrong, I'm not scared to stand up and say the police have done wrong. When the police do good things, which they do most times, you understand what I'm saying? I believe we probably got the best police, other than the Barbados police, we probably got the best police in this country. And we are here to support them, to enable them to carry out their investigations, to gather evidence, to apprehend the perpetrators of this heinous crime. And we will do what we can to help and support them. And we only hope nothing bad happens and we're praying. And there's meant to be a march taking place this weekend and it's a kill the bill march and a lot of the leaders of Black Lives Matter would have been there this week. And this, you know, that, that march on Saturday is going to be very interesting because, you know, our loved one, Sasha is in hospital fighting for her life. But those of you who are watching, my name is Wendell Daniel and we're, we are from Street Mike and we're coming to you live and direct from down here in Concert Road in Peckham where Sasha Johnson, a Black Panther, a leader of Black Lives Matter, has been shot. And very soon I will be signing off because we're now going to be going to the hospital where a visual for Sasha will be taking place. And all I will say to you guys watching, if you like what you're seeing, give me the thumbs up, make your comments down below, share and follow. But also what you need to do when we go live stream and you want to know when it happens, you need to switch on your notification bell. So please switch on your notification bell so that every time Street Mike goes live, you will be notified. So switch on that bell. We are not going nowhere. Street Mike is here. We are here and we're going to be live streaming more and more and more and more. If you've watched my stuff, we started off as a sound only podcast. We've moved. We started doing videos and as a direct result of COVID and the need to live stream, what we do mainly now is live streaming. So over the next year, that is what we'll be doing. We will be on the streets of London, campaigning, helping others, and this is what we do best. So my name is Wendell Daniel, and welcome to Street Mike, and we're coming to you live and direct from the streets of London in Concert Road, where, as you can see, the police are on their hands and knees carrying out a finger-tip search of the area, and this is where... Sasser Johnson was shot. So let's look at the images as I zoom in. We can see the police are on their hands and knees carrying out a fingertip search of the location where Sasha Johnson was shot. Journalist? Yes. 
I want to interview you. You want this other Can I interview a journalist? You want to interview a journalist? Why not? Yeah, we'll put me a party. I'll, I'll give you an interview if you don't. I'm not, I'm not allowed to do it. You're not allowed to do it. I'm yeah. also BBC. So I'm not Are you? No, no, no. It's fine. I'm, I'm local. I'm BBC London. And you're, always, you're always curious, and you always want to be on the, the other side. You know? I don't think you do, that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, because you're always afraid to be the I don't I don't always have to make a sound when I play the drum. Testing, testing.
things that I've seen in terms of the stuff. So behind me now, Clive Morrison is now being interviewed by the BBC and Sky News, I believe. So the BBC and Sky News are now interviewing Clive Morrison. And him and I had the opportunity to meet. Well, we know Sasha. Sasha is a personal friend. And Sasha, Sasha and Clive are part of TTIP political party and Clive also plays the drums. <laughs> I have no uh, qualms about um, say following some of the instructions to which she's had, but at the same time, our warrior spirits for myself um, made me think that somehow we need to reflect a bit more before we make a move. You know, but um, yeah, she's such a warrior, um, spirited person. You know that I, I have to just commend the family and her children. I met one. You know, but yeah, my heart felt um, pain. Yeah, at this particular time. You know. And uh, yeah, just to say, we're going on the not, not in, only, uh, uh, only in the uh, spiritual uh, realm, as you can see, because uh, a lot of us yeah, will be praying, we have a big brain, hoping that uh, everything will be fine to a joy for us all. Uh, uh, I was, I was concerned, I was concerned, yeah, but um, the hope, was obviously that um, possible culture, yeah, because I wasn't aware, I mean, it's fair than information, so I did try to get in touch and I had a conversation, I heard it was critical, but with that there was life, and with life there is hope. Yeah, she's a mother of five, I understand, of two children, and a pleasure of meeting one, I think was very much at our home, and then we've journeyed, and in the short period of time that we've journeyed, I find our courage and our strength, you know, to be something to be commended to answer the community chance. She had a majesty about her, and she had a fiery spirit. You know, and um, she's very articulate, well educated, she knows all her facts, you know, so I'm saying that, so I welcome her youth, her energy, and um, bigger, you know, so yeah, I just say, my sister, more strength, yeah, more courage, you know, but yeah, we want to see you on the other side, we want to connect you back with your family, and myself will try and do what I can at the vigil to connect with your ancestors so that You're spirit awesome. will guide you. <laughs> Thank you for the name and how you spell it. So that is my colleague and that is Clive Morrison. He's a colleague of mine. I've known Clive
Testing. So good afternoon all. My name is Wendell Daniel and welcome to Street Mike and we are coming to you live and direct from Concert Road in Peckham where Sasha Johnson, a friend, a Black Lives Matter leader has been shot and she is currently in hospital, critically ill, fighting for her life after being shot in the head at three o'clock in the morning yesterday. And this is a shocking occurrence for all of us. I know Sasha, I had the opportunity to meet her. I've got her number on my phone. I spoke to her the last time a couple of weeks ago. And last time I interviewed her, last time Street Mike interviewed her was back in April when she was at Kennington Park and one thing she said was that at the time she was wearing a bulletproof vest and at the time she said there had been threats made against her life because when you speak up, when you are articulate, people become afraid of you and they make threats against <laughs> your life but there is no evidence that what occurred here in Concert Road was targeted at Sasha. It has been claimed that there was a party going on down here and she was not the intended victim. There is no evidence to support that. That is just a claim being made but all we can do at the moment is watch and observe and only hope that the Metropolitan Police do an excellent job in conducting their investigations to establish exactly what occurred and we will be working in partnership as far as we can to help the Metropolitan Police to establish what occurred and to bring the perpetrators of this heinous crime to, to justice and Street Mike will do that. We must bring the perpetrators to Justice, we must do that. I'm just looking at my screen, looking at the forensic officers, and what we are doing now, we're going to be heading off towards a location where there will be a vigil taking place for Sasha, and I'm expecting a lot, lot of people to be there. So, my name is Wendell Daniel from Street Mike, and we're now signing out for now, and we will be heading towards the location where the visual will be taking place and we will be going back live very soon so next time we are live we will be outside of the hospital where Sasha is so goodbye for now